selected to open the 12th annual Dock Edge Festival. Whitney, Can I Be Me is one of 49 feature films and 20 short films from here and across the world that will be showcased. To tell us more and to give us his picks of the festival, please welcome to the cafe, Dan Shannon. Yes, wow. welcome Dan, welcome, welcome. Good morning, thank now, you. You started this uh, festival 12 years ago with Alex Lee, so That's why right. did you decide to start it? Well, there was nothing here. Uh, dedicated for documentary mm -hmm. and we saw that niche uh, i'm a doco buff i love documentaries and uh we, the two of us decided to to give it a go and 12 years later well you know uh, it's hard to believe yeah 12 years later we're still here audiences numbers are growing each year which we love that and and the fact is that we bring quality documentaries that otherwise you can't see not on television not in cinemas in many uh, mm. many times. And I think yeah. we're getting more of a fascination now as Kiwis with really mm. good quality documentaries. Yes, we are. And and again, th th it's hard to find them. So where do you find them? A place like Dock Edge is the perfect place. Uh, and, and there are so many of them. We went over 700 submissions and wow. selected those in the festival this year. Well, that's what I was going to ask you, Dan, because as you said, you know, there are some great tacos out there. You've managed to package them all up for an yep. easy digestible lot for us. Do you sit and watch all 700? Well, we do. We sit, we have a oh, team. What, what we, a fun job. <laughs> well, it's not that fun as you might think. Right. It, it is a quite daunting. But, uh, you know, we do have people helping us with watching the film. Right. At the end of the day, Alex and myself make the final decision. Mm -hmm. And it's not an easy one. There are amazing films out there that don't make the cut to, for the festival. Right. But, and they deserve to be in. You know, we could easily run two or three of those. Yeah. It sounds like a bit of a dream job, actually, especially for you as a documentary buff. It, it is. It's wonderful. I get to see all these films, it's, it's amazing, yes. Well, I, I'd love to l ask you about the criteria for how you choose, but I think that will become clear when we look at what we've got to showcase right here. So let's talk mm. about the first one, Whitney, Can I Be Me? Obviously a pretty tragic story. Why did you choose this one to open the festival? It just opened in Tribeca. We came across the film. Nick Brumfield is the director who made amazing films that we've shown before, and we couldn't ask for a better film to open. You know, Whitney's story is, can anyone, anyone can relate to it. Uh, she was an amazing talent, mm -hmm. but also a victim of her own uh, success. And this film just follow her and we see footage and scenes that we have never seen before of her tour in Europe, just before her decline, actually. Uh, so it was very revealing, very important film. Actually, the family is not supportive of the film and they try to stop it, but it is going to screen and Ooh. the director, Nick Broomfield, will be our guest in Auckland. And that makes it even more interesting and that I really want to go and see. <laughs> yes, you know, yes, yes. Um, the next thing you're going to share with us is a pretty hot topic right now, how food can be our medicine and involves Pete Evans. That's right. Pete Pete Evans is um, the co-director together with Rob Tate. Um, he's from My Kitchen Rules. Mm. Uh, or Paleo Pete, as we like to call him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, should we, should we take a quick look sure. at that? Okay, cool, let's take a look. We're at a turning point in human history where what we eat can be your medicine or your slowest form of poison. You're using food as medicine. Food is the most powerful medicine on earth. We've lost that basic life skill of how to cook for ourselves and how to cook food that is going to nourish us. What role does nature have? What role does the ocean have in the life of fish? Did it grow on the planet? Did it swim in the water? Did it run on land? That's food. And if every farm in the world would do this, we would sequester all the carbon that's been emitted since the beginning of the industrial age in fewer than 10 years. The one question I wish every single doctor on this planet would ask every single one of their patients is, what are you eating? Wow, Ooh, yeah. it looks particularly relevant Isn't it? at the moment. Very relevant and, uh, you know, what we eat is who we are in many uh, cases and, and that looks in also how fat actually, fat actually is a benefit for us and it's quite, a, yeah, definitely topical and Peter Evans will be our guest in Auckland for the first screening and it's a world premiere of this film. Excellent. We are the first in the world to see this film. The magic Brilliant. pill. So the next one we're going to take a look at is our Bright Lights, <gasps> Carrie, F Carrie Fisher and Debbie Reynolds. Right. Wow. Yeah. What can you tell us about this one? Wow. Uh, mother's daughter love story basically. Uh, we all know that uh, they both died two days of each other in December last year um, and uh, Carrie Fisher si died suddenly and her mother two days after her. Uh, perfect you know for Mother's Day, upcoming Mother's Day. Uh, I encourage all mothers to take their daughters and watch this film. Incredible talent, so funny mm. and what a great loss. What, yes a great loss. Let's take a quick look at that. I share everything with my daughter. That's right. Especially the check. Far more than I ever would want to. 
I know what my mother feels and wants. Now just do what your mother says. It makes life easier. As if. There's a lot of it. Wow. And knowing that they're both dead now, that's going to be mm. a real tearjerker, I reckon. It is a tribute screening to them, yeah. Mm. OK, and another one you've chosen to highlight, My Hero Brother from Israel. What did you love about this one? This is a, a kind of a very touching film, too. It's a sibling's love. Um, uh, people with Down syndrome who travel with, her, with their siblings on a trip to the Himalaya. Now, this kind of a trip to the Himalaya will be hard on anyone, needless to say, people with Down syndrome. Uh, but the relationship between uh, the siblings and uh, traveling and going through these challenges is just hard, heartbreaking and, oh. mm. and very touching. And uh, Jonathan Neer, the director, will be our guest in Auckland again. And uh, we can't wait for him to share it with the audiences wow. and tell about this journey. Let's take a little look at it, shall we? Another tear yes. checker. And that's the thing about this festival, I guess. There's highs, there's lows, yeah. there's laughter, there's tears. And yes. thank you so much for collating it in Wellington and also in Auckland. Mm. So, thank you. Uh, Someone said that they cry the most during Dog Edge Festival, and we take it as a compliment. Yeah. Beautifully said. <laughs> yeah, it certainly looks like there's something for everyone to enjoy. Thank you so much, Dan. And if you want more information about the Dock Edge Festival, which kicks off this Wednesday in Wellington and the 24th of May in Auckland, head along to the website dockedge.nz.